Screencastify is an extension for recording your screen and your webcam that you can add from the Chrome Web Store and use on devices like Chromebooks. I'm going to click Add to Chrome. I'm going to add extension. And then once it's done, it's going to appear in this bank of icons up here. Once it's up there, it's going to say it's been added to Chrome, so you can go ahead and click on it. And then it'll bring you to this step. So the first step here, it'll ask you for voice and camera recording. If that's not checked, you'll need to click through the prompts to allow it to record your microphone and your camera. Then down here, you choose where to store your recordings. You'll want to choose Google Drive. And then last step, you'll grant permission to it to save to Google Drive and that'll make life easier. You might have to click an accept button if you do that. Then I'm gonna click get started. This is gonna play a little video that will show you how to use it. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you, but you can always watch that at a later time. So to use it, you simply click on the icon and you're gonna have a couple options. Number one, tab. This records just a tab. So that means if I switch to a different tab, you would not see this. You would only see this screen. The second thing then that you could do is desktop. This records everything that you do, your mouse, everything that's happening. This is probably the one you'll want to use. And then the last option here is straight up cam. So you can use just your webcam and record yourself talking to the camera. So you can use it like a camera feature. Now do note, it says you're using Screencastify Lite limited to 10 minutes. Keep in mind that you do not really want to go up 10 minutes, especially when you're talking about students. You want to keep it under six, and in most cases, see if you can get it no longer than a minute. You'll see it's recording microphone. The bar is moving. That means it's got me good. It's working. And then system audio means any noise the computer itself makes, it will record. You can also embed a webcam, too, so you can show yourself while you're showing what to do on the screen. When you're ready, you click Start Recording and it will start recording. Then uh, you need to select one of these options first. I'm going to choose entire screen. You'll want to do that. Now it is recording. When you are done recording, so after you have done everything you wanted to do, you click back on the icon and then you can click stop. Once done, it will load up a new screen now it where it will preview it for you. And then you have some options. You can trim it, trash it, share it, download it. You can go to your other recordings and you can rename it. This is pretty important to do. So I'm going to go ahead and rename it. And then you don't really need to do anything else because this is saved in your drive. So if you want to get the link right away, you can go ahead and click on share and share on Google Drive. And then here are your shared visibility options. I don't mind if it's public. I'm going to save the privacy settings there. And so it's available on Google Drive. I can get the link to it right here. It just has been copied. And then I can use that link to that video anywhere else.